Before I start this video, I feel like I need to list off a few things. I wish, oh, I wish Hunter was here with me to do this video because really and truly, this is his fault. Um, but <laughs> whatever. So as you guys can tell on videos, I really don't wear that much makeup. But Rihanna has a makeup line that's coming out this fall 2017 and so I'm just so determined to like get into it and learn it and learn more about it and experiment with it and I kind of have been like outside of um, my channel like I've, I haven't posted videos and stuff with makeup on but me and Hunter went to Ulta and we lost our minds and honestly and truly like the thing is, I just told him, I was like, we can, I'm just going to let leave this in your hands because he knows the contour, he knows how to bake, he knows all the, the lingo and everything like that because he watches a ton of, um, sorry, a ton of YouTubers that do makeup. Me, on the other hand, I'm like, eyeliner, lipstick, lip gloss, we're off the door, we're good to go. So, with her having a line and everything coming out, I'm just determined to learn how to do it and be able to do it myself. And I feel like it's 50% knowing the technique and then 50% having good products. So, I agreed to let him take me to Ulta and we just balled out. We spent so much money in there and now I'm fully stocked up and I have all the makeup that I could ever need for forever. And he told me that all this, like they're, they're really good products and they will last a long time. So, um, yeah. Okay. So just as another side note, um, this is not something that I like, I know for a fact that every single trip I'm not about to be full beat. Um, I just want to be able to do the techniques myself. And I know a lot of you all probably do watch makeup gurus and beauty, um, YouTubers, but understand I am not a beauty YouTuber. I don't claim to be. I don't want to be. I have no desire to be. So I don't want to like start watching beauty videos or anything. I just want to um, learn like the basic skills. But I just wanted to show you all like what all was in here. But I'm not, I'm not about to be like doing tutorials and stuff like that. Just FYI. <laughs> So this bag is from Forever 21 and I just thought it was super cute because it has all these peaches on it and I think it was like five bucks. Um, but yeah, it fits. I mean, you can fit a ton of stuff in here. The amount of things that I have packed into this little bag is insane. So the first thing is my Zoella Soap Pop and I just purchased this because I do enjoy her videos and I figured she had a line come out and everything so since her products are sold in America now that I would support her. Um, oh, I do want to list this as well. There's two things off camera that I could not fit in the bag but these are in my toiletry bag and that is just this moisturizer. You all have probably seen this in another video. It's just Clinique and then this um, MAC primer. So I couldn't make those fit in the bag too but they are in my toiletry bag. So then I'm just going to pull stuff off the, as it is off the top and um, show you guys. So I have this little brush that I got from MAC. Uh, I got Not from MAC, I'm sorry. Um, I got this brush from TJ Maxx. So it was just a random brush. I don't. I, I liked it because of the colors. I've had it for quite some time, so I can't tell you guys like the official name and everything. But it's just this brush that I have in there. And then I saw these at Forever 2, and I thought that they were cute, so I picked those up. And they're just like these little like scrunchy bracelet type things. The next item is this Urban Decay Eyeshadow <laughs> Urban Decay Primer Potion. Got that. And I mean, you guys know primer. I'm learning too what all these things do and the correct order you're supposed to put them in. It's so complicated. Like there's so many steps when you do makeup. That's why I always really commend those girls that make the effort to do like full beat. I'm like. I don't have the patience for it, but I'm gonna learn. <laughs> so this chapstick that I just got at um, Velvet 360 and it's just purchasing power. Just a random chapstick they were giving out. Then I have this lip gloss that I got in New Orleans at a little, literally bought this out of a box from a guy on the side of the street. <laughs> I have this Genuine Treasure Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I've had this for a long time. I actually think Hunter gave me this. So I don't know where he got this from, but because of the packaging. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's MAC. Then I have this Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. My camera battery is blinking, so I'm going to charge my battery and then I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I've charged my battery up a little bit and I'm back to finish. I have been watching Hannibal, just as, as a side note, um, and that show is insane. It's so good and it's, right now it's like top, top three favorite shows. But I'll continue on with what's in my makeup bag. Okay, so I got a little beauty blender, or as the boy will call it, a fancy, um, a fancy shaped sponge. <laughs> and then I got, Let's see, I got this primer and it is the Urban Decay D Slick Complexion Primer. I like this packaging too, I like the way that looks. Um, and then I also got the Urban Decay D Slick, which is a makeup setting spray and this is the oil control. And I'm sure those of you who are watching this that like, are deep into makeup are gonna be like oh my gosh Ashley you got all these like good products don't even know what you're doing with them but I'm going to practice I promise okay so the next thing is this Tarte shape tape which Hunter was like you have to get this if you don't get anything else get this and it is in the color deep and once again that's another thing I love makeup packaging like it's so pretty to look at so once I get my makeup room and uh, not makeup but my vanity set up in the new house I'm gonna like display it all and I'm like if I don't use it as frequent as frequently as I should at least it'll be absolutely gorgeous to look at <laughs> and so this is like this was my favorite thing I think that we purchased and it is this Becca highlighter oh you guys this I'm gonna open it this stuff is insane and I got topaz and this is how i knew this stuff was official was when we were in the store walking around with it look at that yes oh you can see my tripod in it <laughs> um when we were in the store walking around with it it had a sensor on it and at one point it went off and one of the girls that worked there came up and was like oh i'll just leave this up at the front for you all and you can finish shopping and everything and then come back and get it a sensor on a highlighter Okay, so we also got an Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel, and I like this product just because it's really easy to use because, like I mentioned, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to, like, doing makeup, so this is just, it's really simple to just hurry up and do my eyebrows with that on. And also, I do want to mention, too, I don't have any makeup on currently. I'm doing a, a haul, a makeup haul with no makeup on. There you go. <laughs> So this is my favorite lipstick and my go-to and it is just the matte persistence. The bottom of it has faded quite a bit so you can't really see um, exactly what all it says but I've had this for a really long time. So that's just like my go-to matte whenever I'm feeling lazy but like I still want to put a little bit of makeup on or a little bit of lipstick on not makeup. The next thing is this. Let's see, um, Miss Manga Voluminous Mascara, and I really only ever use this on my bottom lashes just because, as you guys know, I do have um, individuals in, and Cherie is the one who does my individuals. She is in Shreveport, or she's in Keithville, but um, that's my best friend's mom, so it's just, she's done them for me for so long, and I just feel more awake with them in, so that's who con continuously does my lashes. Um, and then I got this Anastasia Beverly Hills. Ashton I like the name because it's Ashton and this oh this is the lipstick that I wore in Kelly's wedding and it's just a matte lipstick that or it goes on like a kind of like a thicker gloss but then it dries matte so for the foundation this was probably the most expensive thing we purchased but a foundation is such like a staple piece in makeup so we did get Lancome and this is the sunscreen and broad spectrum with SPF 15 and so that is, we did a color match whenever we were at the store, and this is the color that they matched me for. So that is my current foundation. The next two items, I actually did, did not purchase these with Hunter, and I got these with my cousin in Dallas, and they're just these NYX Glitter Brilliance is what they're called and oh I just I love glitter like all things that are sparkly and glitter so this is right up my alley and then I did take a couple pictures I think with this on my lids they kind of match my nails a little bit but yeah they're just so pretty and sparkly so this is another lipstick that I've had for some time and it is Urban Decay Matte Stark Naked and there's the bottom of that. It's so hard to make these focus. How do beauty gurus do that? Oh, I'm gonna do the, the old school beauty crush thing. She's the one who taught me to put, put your hand behind it like that to kind of make it focus. But this one doesn't want to work. <laughs> but this is the lipstick. There you go. 
and I like these colors too just because I feel like they're really subtle and it's a good way to have like this one too that I have showed in a previous video it's just like a, a good color to have it's not too loud it's not too pink um, it's just a good matte shade so the next thing which I don't use this very often but it is liquid liner and I've had this in here for so long this brand is just voluminous superstar by L'Oreal I want to learn a winged eye and I've practiced it and I've done it again and again and each time it's just more panda more panda looking and I can't get like I'll, I'm pretty good at doing my um what is it yeah, I'm pretty good at doing my left eye, but the right one, it just ends up getting too thick and then the whole thing is canceled and I have to take all of it off. And by that point, because I've waited so late till time for pickup, I have to just leave it. Um, so this is another eyeliner, but it is just black as black and it's just regular black eyeliner. And um, this is, I, I bought this in training actually, um, whenever I was at the center, just at like the little pharmacy that they had. So it's rubbed off so much, I don't actually, can't really see the brand but it's just called black is black it's just plain black eyeliner you can find that anywhere but at the end of the day more times than not that is what i'll always do it's just if i'm looking so tired and just like i've rolled out of bed and i can't be bothered i'll just put a little bit of black line uh black eyeliner on my bottom lid and then just go and i just find that so easy to just continue on with my day and just have a little bit of liner on so it's kind of like i put makeup on but not really so the next thing, and I don't know why how this looks so beat up already, but it's, it's this contour kit, and it's, uh, once again, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the shades Tan to Deep. Now, I didn't really get the hype with this, but Hunter said that I had to have this. It was absolutely necessary to have a contour kit, and that this would last for a while. Um, so this is it, and then these are the shades that it comes in. And I, I think he said I could use these as bronzers, too. Um, but I'll have to like call him and double check because I'm really not that sure. <laughs> so the next item that I got, and I love this because the packaging is so cute and it smells so good, and it's the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Look at this! Look at the little peaches! And I love the fact that it came in this packaging and it goes so perfectly with the makeup bag. And when you open it up, these are the shades. And then the palette literally smells like peaches. So look at that. So it's got a good variety of colors too. So like your neutrals, which are like my go-to type of shades, these kind of browns, and then a few pinks and all these. I love that. But yeah, this is a cute little palette. And so when we were trying to pick out one, cause he was like, you need to have at least one good go-to um, eyeshadow palette. I felt like this had colors that were, like they're not too loud, they're not too, bright or anything these can go with um like your day-to-day -day neutral type of makeup look so I, i'm a proud owner of the peach the sweet peach Too Faced palette so the last few items just kind of fell down to the bottom but okay so i know i know people that actually do makeup are watching this they're like this girl bought this stuff but i'm going to use it i promise um i'm I've, I've become like obsessed with like aesthetics of things so like there's a few instagram accounts and youtubers that i follow that their page it just looks so neat and so well put together and it's so pleasing aesthetically to look at it um so like i said i'm going to like kind of build up a vanity once the house is done and everything and have a room that i completely film in so there's this vanity that i've had for a really long time that i received as a gift whenever i was in college and it's all glass and so I, I can picture in my mind how I want it to look and how I want to want everything displayed on it so I got these brushes to use but then also to kind of go with how I want the vanity to look in the future so I know that they're like pricier for brushes but I figure go big or go home why not me and Hunter were in a mood and we just went for it and we got the brushes <laughs> and so they're these look how pretty they are and I love the colors I love that it's like this rose gold and it's the metallic collection um so yeah we splurged on some brushes and I kept thinking you know a makeup brush is a makeup brush but he was like no it's not it's more detailed than that um you need to have good quality brushes you need to keep your brushes clean so got those brushes and then I've had this for a while I'm not actually sure if this came with something I don't I think it just 
um, was a random brush that I had, but it's just like my little brow brush. And then the end piece has this angled tip on it um, to do my eyebrows. And then this was just a random little pink one that I brushed my lashes with that fell down in the bottom. And the last two things, which I don't use these very frequently because I'm that person that thinks, oh, that's kind of pointless, right? Um, but it is a brow whiz. And this is my brow whiz. And then a lip liner, spice lip liner. So all of those things that I mentioned, except for this makeup brush, fit in this bag, which is mind blowing to me because on film, I feel like this bag doesn't even really look that big, but all that stuff managed to fit down in there. So I just wanted to do a haul because um, some people were interested in seeing what products that I do have and what um, products I've been keeping with me. And so on the side, not on film, I have been practicing my makeup. I will put all these products to good use. Um, maybe in the future we could do a tutorial. I was on FaceTime with Brian. We were joking around when I was at the wedding. And we were like, um, where you you can do um, a flight attendant makeup tutorial and call it the pretty palette. So I should like copyright copyright that so nobody else can use it. Once again, all of my social media will be linked in the description box. You guys make sure that you're following me on Snapchat and Instagram at the Ashley Banks, and make sure that you hit the bell notification as well as subscribe and watch us in HD quality. And I'll see you guys in my next one.